Sassy. So today, Hi. no, I want to. Yeah. Know. Hi guys, I'm City, and today we're doing a story of the lion and the mouse. Good job, City. Okay, tell me the characters of the story. So we got me as the first narrator. It says narrator City hashtag one. This is the narrator two. It says narrator cute mermaid hashtag two. This is the lion. This is the mouse, and I made these characters with my perler beads yes, we had. Yes, you did. And, and then I used... The setting of the story is this jungle. We, okay. we used some of my Hatchimal play sets, and I used some hot glue gun to do... Um, the pebbles. Okay. Yeah. So now let's begin with the story. So, narrator number one, that okay. is Cute City, is going to tell us the story. So, once upon a time... In a story, I mean, in the jungle, there was a lion and... He was and living in his jungle very, very peacefully. Oh. Yeah. And then came along... The mouse. The mouse. Now, what was the mouse looking for? Some cheese. Some cheese. Okay. I am hungry, okay. said the mouse. Then... He went into the trap. And there in front of the lion, he was found in a trap. The mouse said, help me, help me, lion, please help me. What did the lion say? No, I will eat you. Why, lion? Why? Please, please leave me, lion. One day, I promise, I will help you. What did the lion say? You really think you could help me? You're so small. I'm small, lion, but I can still help you. Please believe me, lion. Please leave me. What did the lion say? Mm. Okay. Okay, fine. Only this time I'm going to leave you, okay? All right. Okay, thank you so much, lion. Thank you so much. And so the mouse sang happily and went to his home. Then, here. after a few days, the lion was walking around in the jungle, enjoying eating and drinking, and then suddenly he fell in a trap. That trap was made by this mermaid. She wanted to catch the lion and take him to the city. So that other children can see him in the zoo. The lion said, oh no. What did the lion say now? Please help me. But the um, mermaid said, no, I'm going away. Now I'm going to take you. Just wait. I'm going to get my van back. So she went away. Now what happened to the lion? So the mouse was coming along and then he heard the lion crying. Help me, help. Who is that? Who needs my help? Oh no, what happened to you, lion? I got trapped by a mermaid who wants to take me away from the jungle. Oh no, can I help you? Ha, how are you going to help me? You're oh, small. You, you don't know my powers. Just look, what will I do with my two teeth? And the mouse started nibbling the net. And he made a big hole and the lion came out. The lion thanked the mouse. He kissed him. The mouse said, yuck, don't kiss me. But we are friends now. See, I helped you. Yes? Thank you, mouse, for helping me. I didn't want to get away from my home forever. Now they became friends forever and they played in the jungle. Do okay. you want to eat some of my cheese? Yes, sure, the lion said. Now, Sidi, yeah. what is the moral of this story? It's the model to, um, to, uh... That to size doesn't that, matter. That size doesn't matter or, and tr to trust people. To trust people and size doesn't matter. Even if the mouse was small, he has some gifts and he could help the lion, right? Yeah. And so we should never make fun of people. Okay, and never judge somebody by their looks. Okay, say bye till the bye. next model story. Bye Subs bye. Don't forget to subscribe, yeah. like, sure, and we comment. will subscribe you. Yeah, bye.